Hi everyone. Just give me a moment. Thank you for watching. A touch of tarot. My name is Genevieve. Just need to clear. Pulling out two decks here. I have, you know, this bizarre message I picked up on. Um, some of you may know the song Under My Thumb, Rolling Stones. So I didn't even realize that that was going on in the back of my head. And then I like acknowledged it and I'm like, under my thumb. And I'm like, what is this person thinking? So I'll start there. Um, I did attempt to tune into it. And what I picked up is that there's some masculines out there today that for some reason are feeling super confident that they have their divine feminines like under their thumb. And what that song is about, um, it's basically about somehow this guy getting this girl to like do anything he wants because she's so in love with him. <laughs> and so I was really shocked when I realized. I was hum humming that song. Look what shows up, Three of Cups. Um, so let's pick up and see, like, if I can see where that's coming from and what your advice is. I mean, the advice I heard, but I don't know if it was my own advice, is that today should be a day of you being super busy, especially if your masculine calls you, like, way too busy, good morning, um, to play any games like that. And also setting boundaries, about setting boundaries. I don't know why your masculine would be in that vibe or someone's masculine would be in that vibe. I wasn't actually going to do any readings today. Um, I was going to take a little break, but I figured I'm a little curious as well. Also, I plan to come to San Francisco and near the end of the month. Um, so I don't know if anyone would be interested in meeting for live readings Sylvia invited me and um, we're thinking of doing live readings, like almost like not speed reading, but kind of a speed reading setup type of thing. Well, it might be a little different. We have to figure out how we're going to do it. So yeah, so the under my thumb thing, what is the, oh, I just want to make sure everything is flipped over and upright let me just double check that quickly and good morning everyone i hope you're doing well um i hope you had a good night for those of you that checked out my karmic read on the extended honestly it was really good and i'm keeping my most of my karmic reads on there I'm trying to keep them off the channel <laughs> ace of clubs huh honestly someone's masculine's feeling cocky today um this you see, we already started with the Three of Cups, now the Three of Swords. It's like, I, I'm sorry, I'm just going to pick up what I'm picking up here. So I'm not really sorry, like, I got to say it. So someone's masculine's like, there's a reason that song's playing in my head, okay? Under my thumb. It's like, you know, everything I've done, it's, the <sighs> fuck, I don't want to use this wording, but he's like, I, like, you know, I got the good whatever, and this is how a masculine's feeling today. Three of cups, three of swords, ace of wands, ace of clubs. Even the fact that I chose this deck and it says club. Like, not that your masculine has to go to the club, but I mean, he's really feeling himself today for some reason. Um, I don't know why I put that back in because I can't believe it came out. <laughs> like, you know, it's like, I can do what I want. I can walk away when I want. Yeah, there's some odd energy today. Yesterday, there was a really strong energy um, about the karmics going crazy. So I don't know if your person's dealing with a karmic situation and maybe that boosted his ego. Maybe she really went out of her way to try to control him or something. And she's, he's like, oh, like I'm so desirable. I don't know. I don't know why this is coming up. So let's just do this again. What is the masculine's energy for today regarding this, you know, under my thumb energy? So his, his energy towards the feminine, please. Towards his, his person that he's thinking of. Three of clubs, a lot of threes today. So this is our third three of the day. 
Four of coins. Okay, never mind that. For I feel like almost like this is like something you go to the top of the deck for. Yeah, I feel like, you know, there might be a little bit of a challenging day to day because the feminine, some of them may actually exercise boundaries and take the blindfold off with the two of sword. Like this isn't your typical two of swords. This is someone who's like, hi, I'm here. Um, I got my guard up, kind of. I'm ready to communicate as well. Uh, where do you stand? And then this guy here with all of his threes and his wands, I think he's just feeling like he can come in when he wants with these two wands. Um, so there may be some form of a challenge today of some form because I feel like the masculines have this energy. Um, They've, you know, you've been patient. Most of the feminines have been patient, pleasant, um, even persistent. Like I'm using all these P words, but it's like, you know, you've handled yourself well. Look at because star card, because this is something you truly wanted. So you put an effort into it. This is like the star temperance mix card to me. Um, you know, even though things weren't as fair as they should have been at times, you put an effort here. And I just feel like this person may be walking in like as if they did nothing wrong for some of you today. Great that they're coming back. That's nice. Um, But no, no, no. If they're going to be acting extra cocky or something, you have to set boundaries. That's 100% sure. Like two of coins. If they are still acting confused, if they are still acting confused, the message is to tell them almost like, okay, you go get your yourself together then. Like I just heard tell them to go if they are confused. So not in a rude way, but it's like, okay, if you're still confused and unsure, um, you know, two under the two, like, okay, it's okay. I'll be here. I'm doing my thing. I'm good. I know what I want. Just a little mini message here. This is for someone. Um, it's for a feminine, I'll tell you that, because it's, you know, the Rolling Stones, he's a he's a man. So look what we have here, the Knight of Clubs. And guess what? He's heading out. So for some of you, if you call your person out on his behavior, he is going to go. He's, he's going to race out of there. Because he doesn't want to be called out. So this is a message for some people. Like, if this is a specific message. Here, King, he'll just go run back home and sit on his throne or whatever. Oh, oh my gosh, this is so messed up. For a second, I thought he had a snake wrapped around him. And that's, you know, very possible. And with the Hermit card and the Tower card underneath, have fun going back home, buddy. Um, like whatever home is to you. It's, I saw a snake there. I don't know. I guess it's maybe some fur lining. I mean, it doesn't look like it fits there anyway. It doesn't look like it's tied up. This person's tied up at home or wherever their throne is, wherever they feel like they're the king. You're about to, you're about to really give this masculine, um, something to think about. For whoever this message is, he's literally going to go home and maybe he's either going to stew over this or cause a ruckus. For some of them, I feel like home is work. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know why um, there's not much pentacles, but he's here alone and, you know, in hermit mode. So I feel it's somewhere he can isolate himself and call the shots. His hands up there. Like I say this, I say this here. Um... Strong, fiery energy, but I don't think it has to go with the specific sign at all. More of the fact that it's very passionate. This person is very sexually drawn to you and they think that they're the shit right now. Why? Let's ask why. Um, interesting. Why? I just want to know on a side note, like what the heck happened? Well, we got two. Oh boy. Remember I said 
maybe it's something involving the karmic. It may be something involving the karmic. This person may have cut. Oh, this is a weird message, but okay. We have two fours. So right off the bat, I'm looking at foundation, right? With the first four, four of wands. So that tells me possibly something happened at home. The next four is the four of swords, but he's in bed alone. So I almost feel like there has been something that came. We saw the tower already, right? That came in the middle of whatever was going on here. We even have the six of cups, but what I'm picking up is not about, you know, uh, divine connection and stuff. It's about someone that they've been with for a while. Someone who, like, I feel like that's that same person here. And this is a different person here because she has, like, a blue hair, or blue, darker hair. This is a blondie here. Um, so someone he's been with for a while, but there's some sort of, something has happened with the home. And I feel like he has released himself with the Ace of Swords. Wow. Okay, look at that. The world, Ace of Swords, Hangman, King of Pentacles. So this person may have taken their power back from the home situation, and maybe that's why they're feeling super cocky today. I'm not quite sure. I don't know why he thinks he can just come in for whoever this reading is for. Some of you, please do expect a visit today. Um, you make sure... You call him out on any bullshit behavior. Seven of Swords with the death card. You make sure you put an end to any, you know, you're the queen. You're the perfect match to him. Um, he's going to have to put an effort into this connection. Or he can go back, you know, to this tower energy, wherever that is. That was on his, his throne. He may think he has it all together, but deep inside, when things don't seem to go this person's way exactly the way he wants it today, he's going to have a little tantrum. And I don't normally ever talk about the masculines like that, but there's something up. I woke up with this song in my head, and he, you know, maybe his name's Peter for some of you, okay? Look at him. He thinks he's pretty cool. Like, I went to school for this. Like, I'm cool, blah, 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 blah. No. No, the only divine feminine energy that's truly showing itself, like besides the queen of wands that he thinks he can just come back home to, um, is here, the two of swords. And she's ready to communicate, but she's also ready to have boundaries and have her guard up of against bullshit. So, you know, why this happened? Something has happened with his foundation, with the double four energy and with the six of cups. That to me sometimes talks about karma from the past. You know, it's like it is someone that they've been with for a while. It is someone from the past. It is that energy. Um, it can go multiple ways, but I feel like someone that they have some sort of foundation that the bed is empty here. Okay. So it's like there was a happy. Eh, no, no. Well, it was happy for show because I see like a camera, but there's no actual camera. This person actually takes his ring off if they're married. At times he takes his ring off. He takes his, um, he will sometimes say he's not married if he's married or not in a commitment. And not only that, the storm's been brewing. There's clouds here about to bust out. There's a rainbow on the ground. The rainbow is about to rise. And, you know, first comes the storm and then the rainbow. So something's happened um, in the foundation here. And it's weird that I brought up the karmic. I mean, I don't know because the karmic energy was so weird yesterday. Um, I don't know. Maybe something really did happen and now he thinks he's the shit. I don't know why. Uh, maybe he got rid of her. And maybe this is a lot for him to take all at once. So he's trying to see where he has power still. This reading is for someone. I wasn't going to do readings today. But while I'm here, please let me know if you're near San Francisco or if you would come to San Francisco to meet up in person if I had a spot um, where we could just, you know, do some talking and some readings. 
The Brief Cat. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. I'm telling you, this guy is trying to figure out where he has the power still for someone today, okay? So, yeah, you can almost expect some sort of, um, wow, this is weird. <laughs> so, we have the brief cat, BRF. Grouchiness is to godliness. Start every day with a hiss and get it over with. Frown and the whole world frowns with you. This person is trying to see his effect on your emotions today. So this could just mean you will literally be tested emotionally um, for whatever reason. Maybe it's not directly from him. But I see a guy like even going to work and be like, what power do I have here? What? Like, this is my job. This is my business. Um, I mean, this is just what I'm picking up. And then we have the Sheshri cat. Smile and you get away with anything. Don't be afraid to go down the rabbit hole. What the? This guy's playing with emotions today. Someone's guy. Sorry, but I mean, no one's perfect. <laughs> and you know why? I really feel like I said, and I'm seeing the number three again here. So, and they're actually talking about a rat, which would make me think about, you know, the other the person that they're dealing with that they're not happy with. Um, this is about a move. Whoa, this is funny. So this guy's name is Dick, Dick Whitington. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say, but he's, he's, this is the full card. So something has happened and there's been some change. And I do feel that today for some of you, the masculine, this is pretty specific. It's going to be exercising their rights or their their power. Um, oh, thank you so much, Taj. Um, and, you know, they may be traveling to come see you as well. Obviously, I doubt that they, they, maybe they did just move out today. The karmics went crazy yesterday, for those of you that watched what I saw. Um, yeah, yeah, Peter could be his name, as I said. Let me see. <laughs> Here's the message for you um, all, for any feminines dealing with this. If you love someone, set them free, but keep them under surveillance. Okay, you don't have to keep them under surveillance, but you know what? Don't put up with this because it's not benefiting your person by you putting up with their temper, temper tantrums. Um, to put something back together, you first must break it. That's what this says. So break the old habits Break the old, you know, no, like if this person thinks that they can just come on in, like the the sneak in the night to this beautiful, beautiful, no, you know what's going to happen to this cat? He's going to get boxed up. You're going to be like, get out of here. And it's going to bruise him. Oh. The bruiser gets bruised. So... That's what's up today, guys. Weird message. You might want to look up the song, uh, Under My Thumb, Rolling Stones. I don't know all the lyrics. I'm really happy I woke up and dealt with this. Um, I mean, I picked up a whole bunch of stuff last night, but it's okay. I'm going to keep that all. If you guys want to see my karmic video, it's on Vimeo. The link is below my video yesterday. It's pretty interesting. There was some huge shift going on. Um, you know, not every message is for everyone. The cat dick is killing me. Yeah, Dick Whitington. <laughs> Let's just look at that one more time. So, Dick, oh, Dick Whitington's cat, but I'm calling him Dick Whitington here. So, yeah, I don't know. AI, the AI cat, AI wee wee. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, guys. This is too funny. Um, but yeah, we had um, Peter show up too. So you might be dealing with a Peter. Anyhow, you know, don't let this guy, I don't know, just have boundaries. The message I actually got when I got this message is today is a day for the divine feminines to be busy. Let me actually pull some cards on us for just a little advice. It's a day for you to get busy. Like, you don't have time for him to just pop in today, okay? I'm telling you. 
I'll do the exact same if that's what thinks is going to be happening. Well, the world was in reverse. And the Queen of Swords. So it's picking up on the same energy. And the King of Cups. So like, honey, we do love you. We want you to come in from your little your little Eight of Cups trip to the Four of Cups. We want you to come in. But we're not taking Four of Cups type of offer here. You know, we're not dealing with that shit. Um, after you left us out in the cold to fend for ourselves, brokenhearted. No. So the advice is, you know, this isn't over. And it's not going to be over just because you stand your ground. And not even to argue. Her sword is down. She just knows. She's like, no, this isn't okay. No, you want to come into my, you want to just run in, run in and out, look like the shit. No, it's not okay. Um, you know, you want to come in, you just get out of your little bed there alone. And then you want to come in and make a little offer after you ran off. No, there's communication that's needed here. And there's boundaries that can be set today, which is beautiful. So that's the advice for the divine feminine. Uh, I mean, came in, come in with a solid offer is what it's saying, you know? Okay, guys. So that's the message. Kick rocks with the devil energy. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know who this is for. This would be interesting. Like, I don't even know who it's for at all. Obviously, how would I know? But um, the song's out of my head now, so I guess I got the message out, and I'm happy to do that. Anyways, have a really good day. I am going to catch up on readings, and I won't be on here. I mean, I should be doing those monthlies. Uh, if I get a chance, I'll just record them during my readings. Bye for now, everyone. Otherwise, I'll be back tomorrow. Ciao for now. Thank you for everything, and thank you for that donation. That's awesome. And all your likes.